Recruiting landlords is probably the most difficult part of finding a pop-up shop location. Property owners quite literally hold the key. You can't open a pop-up shop until you've secured a location. The first step is to identify the empty properties in a given area and contact the owners. Be prepared in advance. Whether you're negotiating on behalf of an organization, working to revitalize a neighborhood, or whether you're an independent business owner wanting to open one pop-up shop, you need to make a good impression. Use a team approach where possible. Some will easily build rapport with, with people, and if you have the right people on your team, you can kind of mix and match to see uh, what's, what the best person for each landlord would be. Build rapport and trust. Be honest and upfront about what you're trying to do. And don't give up. Finding locations is the hardest part. So what's the best strategy? And why should landlords consider having pop-up shops? What are the benefits to them? There's really quite a lot of benefits for landlords. Tenants will help to cover their carrying costs and beautify their property, which is sort of like staging for commercial properties. Having a beautiful storefront with a fantastic pop-up tenant can help a commercial landlord attract a long-term tenant. Landlords will also save on insurance and security costs by having an occupied property as opposed to an empty one. All of the participating Danforth East property owners recommend the pop-up shop project to other landlords. And here's some testimonials, some of the things that landlords told us. I would highly recommend this project to other landlords. This project is a win-win. I believe the pop-up shop project helped lease my store. You can't get better testimonials than that. You can always use the examples from this project to show other landlords that you're speaking to uh, some examples of how a pop-up shop tenant has worked. What's the best way to negotiate the rent? Because this is a very important point. Both landlords and tenants will want to know what the rental fee will be. In some cases, landlords will accept a lower short-term rent when it's getting close to the end of the month and it's clear that they won't be able to fill the space with a long-term tenant. So some key points that you'd want to talk about with landlords is that filling their space is a way of staging it. It's an alternative way of making their property look beautiful. The pop-up tenants will typically paint and clean the space and attract foot traffic and show how beautiful the property can be. Another point is that some revenue is better than none. It's really a low risk way for property owners to gain some revenue and cover some of their carrying costs until they find a long-term tenant. And the security of having someone occupying your property is also a big feature. Some insurance companies charge you more when your property is vacant for a certain period of time. And if the landlord's concerned about wanting to lease to a long-term tenant, your legal agreement can include a 30-day notice clause so that they can give notice and ask the pop-up tenant to vacate within 30 days. A 
pop-up tenant should go prepared to speak to a, a property owner trying to explain why they should choose you. You can photograph their empty storefront and then manipulate the photo using something like Photoshop to show your version of a beautiful window and what you will create in their space. You can bring a portfolio of the products and any other pop-up shops you've held so that they can see what you can do. If you have retail experience, bring your resume. Bring personal references. If you have a website or social media pages, bring links or print out pictures to show the landlord. Try to make sure you've got a good knowledge of the local area so that you can reassure the property owner that your customer base is in that neighborhood. And lastly, bring a current credit report just to show that you are not a risk.